Hello, my beautiful mama llamas. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Ellie for short, of course. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my YouTube thumbnails pretty much on a budget. We were balling on a budget, okay? So if you are wanting to start a Sims YouTube channel um, or even just a regular YouTube channel um, in itself, you're gonna need um, some pretty decent thumbnails, right? Because thumbnails are the first thing um, that that any person on YouTube will see and they'll really kind of make or break um, how your video does in terms of performance because let's be honest like if you um, just randomly chose um, one of the like pre-made thumbnails on the YouTube studio where it's just like a simple clip or picture of your video people are not gonna be um, as appealed to it and enticed by it enough to actually click on the video um, but like me okay so I'm a college student <laughs> and I can't afford a lot of good stuff like I know a lot of youtubers use Photoshop or like GIMP or something and there's nothing wrong with that at all but the only thing for me is that one um, Photoshop does cost a good bit of money nothing really too crazy but two, Photoshop and GIMP and programs like that are too confusing for me like I don't know if I'm just stupid dumb or stupid like I just can't get um, Photoshop for the life of me so I was like I want a way to make thumbnails super easy super quickly but also that that, um, look good and showcase that you really spent time making this thumbnail and this video and catering it towards your audience. So enough chit chat, let's get into it. So if you're wanting to take screenshots in your game to be part of your thumbnail, um, the program I like to use is actually called Lightshot. Um, I don't like taking direct screenshots in the game through like my keyboard print screen um, because it takes away the reshade aspect. I have reshade in my game and whenever I do the print screen, option and makes it go away and look less dull so I like to use light shot in order to take um, my screenshots because it just keeps the brightness there so what I do if I'm not wanting to use like poses or anything is I wait until my sim is kind of in the right pose the natural pose I want to take a screenshot in um, and by the way this is Antonia Mendez she is my legacy founder um, it's kind of like a storyline based let's play with lots of drama and stuff it's only on like part five or six I think I don't remember but go ahead and check it out. The link will be um, up here at the top and in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and press tab. So when you press tab, um, all the UI stuff will go away and you'll just get like the Sims and the world and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her to where I want her to be. I usually like to put the focal point of my thumbnail um, to one side so I can have the text over on the other side that's more clear. So I have Antonia pretty much where I want her. I'm gonna kind of zoom in a little bit and and then with Lightshot, Lightshot actually allows you to use Lightshot when you press the print screen key. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and press print screen and here we go. So it says select area. I'm gonna drag it all the way out and cover the entire screen, um, press save and then save to my pictures. So once you've got the screenshots that you want to put in your thumbnail, go ahead and go to this website right here. I will have the link in the description below. It's called Pixlr X and it is totally 100% free and it is amazing. So definitely go check that out. So once you're here on Pixlr X, what I do, and you can already see some of the thumbnails that I have right here, um, you're gonna go to create new and then the standard size for a thumbnail is 12 by 720 so you click that and then I usually click for a background and I just make it white so you don't have to title it either totally fine so do create and now we've got a completely blank canvas um, just so you know Pixlr is free but it also has ads um, because you know they got to make money somehow so there will be like some ads over here just just ignore them um, they're not too crazy if they were really annoying I would definitely not use this application but it's literally not bad at all sometimes they don't even show up so don't worry about it but next go over here to add image and then browse go to your pictures and click on the picture that you want for your thumbnail so obviously it's going to be a little bit too large for the screen or the canvas so what i do is kind of like size it down a little bit and then make it big enough to where it covers the whiteness on the canvas so that should be about good and at this point i like to add one of my favorite filters that is actually free in this application um so actually let's go ahead and go back um so go to effect right here go to friends and then scroll down until 
until you see the Antonio filter, which haha, ha, this is Antonia and this is Antonio. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad. Okay, um, so go to Antonio and do you see what it does when you don't have the filter on and then when you do, it kind of adds like a little bit of depth and I don't know how to explain it. Like it's just more appealing to the eye. Um, it's more kind of dynamic instead of like this where it's just bland and like one dimensional. I don't know. This just feels like kind of 3D, you know what I'm saying? But I don't like to put it all the way. I like to put it at about like halfway. After this part, which this part is obviously a must, I like to go to the adjust tab and kind of adjust um, the brightness of the photo as well as like the vibrance. Um, so I don't want it too crazy, but I also don't want it like super cold and like no vibrance at all. So I like to do just a little bit, kind of like 40-ish, um, a little bit of saturation, nothing too crazy. Um, and then brightness, I like to put up a bit because you know, I like my thumbnails to be bright. So I think this is good right here. But obviously you can do all this other stuff like temperature. Um, we got black and white. We got some more contrast highlights. You can add a vignette on your photo. So something like that, um, but I don't like that. So we're not going to do that. You can do this glamour thing, which like adds a little bit more of like depth to your photo. I don't really like to mess with this because the Antonio filter already adds a little bit of something like that. So for now, I think the colors and the contrast of this photo, um, I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm going to go to retouch and then go to sharpen slash blur. I love to blur the background of my thumbnails just because it like, it really emphasizes the focal point of the photo. So for example, I want Antonia's face to be the main point of the photo. So everything in the background kind of just distracts from it. And I do want to blur that away. So what I'm gonna do now is make the size of the brush very large. Um, the softness down a lot and the strength up a lot as well. And right now I'm just clicking and I'm blurring everything um, that I can right now. Obviously I'm not gonna go too close to her um, to Antonia with this large brush because I don't want to blur her face out completely but for like the big areas like this where nothing is really there that we need um, I just use a very big brush and then I size it down um, a little bit more so I can kind of get closer to Antonia without like blurring her face out completely and I kind of go around the edges of the sim um, that's in the photo um, it's okay if you touch them a little bit it's it's fine the thumbnail on YouTube is not going to catch like if you accidentally go a little bit over the sim that's totally fine um, people are not really going to tell um, if the sim is blurred from the thumbnail itself if they like if they screenshot the thumbnail and like and like um, make it really big they might notice but this doesn't mean that you're low effort at all um, it's just some of us cannot afford like really precise photo editors which is totally fine if you can I just wanted to show you guys what I do because I just love how Pixlr is free and just so easy to use but I do make the brush just a little bit smaller to kind of get in these crevices here you can always undo something um, if you mess up I'm not gonna go too crazy in between her baby hairs because it's not something um, too serious to me that I really need to be blurred um, but just the main parts of the photo where things need to be blurred just go ahead and blur it out I know it seems kind of like taxing physically taxing or whatever but I promise it doesn't take that long at all and you don't have to be um, um, too incredibly precise just blur everything that is not your main focal point of the thumbnail so obviously I didn't do my best job on this because this is a tutorial normally I would take a little bit more time to blur the fine edges around here kind of like this um, but I'm just gonna leave it here for now so after this I like to add text so we're gonna go over here to the text button add new text and then I actually have a custom font that I downloaded online I will leave a link down below um, to a website that gives you a ton of free custom fonts that you can use um, for your thumbnails. I just like to use this one. So in this text box, I'm going to go ahead and delete everything. And, and I'm going to call this video how I, and then I press enter, make my enter thumbnails. So that's pretty much gonna be what the thumbnail text is. You don't wanna make it too long because people will kind of get confused, but you don't wanna make it too short to where people don't know what your video is about just by the thumbnail. So as you saw, I did make it a little bit bigger so people will be able to see um, the text even from like their phone or something. And then what I like to do is make the text a different color. So they have some pre-made colors right here. You can obviously use the color wheel right here, but I think I'm going to make 
um, the text. I think I'm gonna go with like a light green. Um, okay, so we got the color and now we scroll down a little bit and I go to outline and then I pick the color, I go all the way to white, and then I make the outline really large. So it adds kind of like a background um, to your text. That's just what I like to do. Um, you can make the outline black, you can make it red, whatever you wanna do. I just like to make it white. And then I go down here to shadow, I click on it, and then I go to the color of the shadow and I like to make it pitch black dark. And then make the opacity a little bit stronger and the blur a little bit less. So as you saw, this just kind of adds a shadow that makes it more like pop out-ish, you know what I'm saying? It pops out more, makes it a little bit more 3D. And this is pretty much the basis of how I make my thumbnails. Now there's a lot more options um, that you have in terms of customization of your thumbnail. Um, there's a lot of different tools we have. This is a liquify tool so you can make like the face like really weird and liquidy and stuff. There's a lot more things you can do in the filter tab, um, a lot more exposure contrast stuff you can cut out things, you can crop things. There's just a lot of things you can do um, with this application. Now here I'm at one of my other videos thumbnails. I actually did a CC haul a few days ago, actually yesterday. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and do so. But if you actually wanna add some more photos to your thumbnail, um, so let me go ahead and delete this real quick. So basically all you do if you wanna add stuff like this. So I just screenshotted this part of my create a sim with light shot, same thing as the photo right here and I saved it to my pictures and then all you have to do is literally just add another image um, and then you layer them on top of each other and good thing is they will automatically layer so always put down the photo that you want underneath the other photo first and then do that photo and they will be layered and then you just put your text on top of it and it looks really cool I like to do this with CC showcases I like to do this with mods as well and kind of show like maybe some moodlets over here and some interactive over here and then layer them all on top of each other and you can always add other things too so sometimes what I like to do is go to my editing folder I actually have the Sims 4 icon in my editing folder so if I just click that um, add current and then you got the Sims 4 icon right here and you can put it anywhere you want just so your viewers know that you are covering the Sims 4 but yeah you guys that is all for my thumbnails once again this application Pixlr X is totally 100% free so if you don't have the finances to buy um, a professional photo editing software, definitely go and check this out. I want you guys to know that you don't need the most expensive stuff to start a YouTube channel or even edit your videos or making a thumbnail. Um, you just need your passion. That is it. Your passion and your drive to do the things that you love. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever I post a new upload. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to become a mama llama. I love you guys. Bye.